Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'll be covering my top five UTV maintenance tips. Maintenance is often overlooked on UTVs, which can lead to some bigger problems in the future and put a pretty big dent in the old wallet. So preventative maintenance is key, especially when it comes to keeping your vehicle in good shape and helping you to avoid costly repairs down the road. So today I'll be covering with you my top five UTV maintenance tips to help you protect your investment and keep your vehicle ready to rock for the trails to come. Now, a lot of these same serviceable items that are found on this machine can be found on a lot of the other UTVs that are out there. So here are my top five UTV maintenance tips. All right, so my first tip is greasing your Zerks. Yes, you heard me right, I said Zerks. And you're probably wondering what the heck that is. Well, it's a grease fitting that's attached to a pivot point on your vehicle that usually experiences a lot of movement and friction. So you wanna locate the grease Zerks on joints and fittings and lubricate them with your manufacturer's recommended lubricating grease. Now by keeping these joints and fittings lubricated will help you to eliminate friction and excessive wear on these items. The grease zerks are usually located around the front of the vehicle, around the A-arms, and at the sway bar if you have one. At the rear of the vehicle, they're around the rear sway bar and the driveline connections. Now, they can be found in various other locations, and if you need help locating those, be sure to reference your service manual for that specific information. So while you're going through hitting all of your grease locations, there are some other high wear items that you want to inspect, which would include your ball joints, bushings, and bearings. So once these parts wear out, they're definitely going to affect your machine. So while you're giving it a good once over, be sure to give these parts an inspection. Now my next tip seems like a no brainer, but it's something that I see get overlooked way too often, and that's the air filter. So if you've got a serviceable one that's a fabric like a K&N, you'll want to clean it. Or if you have a paper type that's an OEM or aftermarket, you'll want to change it out regularly. The air filter is what cleans the air that is fed to your engine, so you want to keep that air clean. So keeping up on your vehicle's air filter maintenance is key, especially if you want to keep it in good shape. Now, if you need help with changing out the air filter on your vehicle, be sure to check out some of our how-to videos on how to do just that. There are many aftermarket products that will help to extend the life of your air filter. And one of those products that I like to use are the outer wares. The outer wares make a great addition to an aftermarket or stock filter that really help to filter out the fine particles and dirt, especially if you like to ride at the sand dunes. Now we have plenty of options on our website for replacement filters and intake accessories. So be sure to check those out. So my next tip is engine oil and other fluids. Now the engine oil is like the lifeblood of your engine. So before each major ride, you definitely wanna give the final engine oil level a check. Too much engine oil or too little engine oil can definitely cause some problems for you. Changing out the engine oil and engine oil filter is a good thing to do that will help you to keep your engine in good shape and so that you can get the most out of it. Now, how often should you be changing out your engine oil? Well, it's always good to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. However, if you're out there racing your machine or subjecting it to some really extreme riding conditions, you may want to change out that engine oil a little more often than the manufacturer's recommendation. We have complete kits on our website that are the oil change kits that will come with everything that you'll need to service your engine oil and engine oil filter. They'll come with all the oil that you'll need, the oil filter, crush washers, and O-rings. Now onto some of the other fluids like engine coolant. It's good to keep an eye on the level and condition of it because, well, it keeps your machine running cool. Now when it comes to servicing it, most manufacturers recommend that you change out the coolant once every five years. Now depending on how hard you run your vehicle, you may want to change out the coolant more often. Now some people change it out once every year, once every two to three years, or they just follow the vehicle manufacturer's recommendation and change it out once every five. Now when it comes to transmission and gear case oils, they're not changed out nearly as often as the engine oil, but they are just as important to service. Now it's always good to follow the vehicle manufacturer recommendations as to how often you should be changing them. But again, if you're subjecting your vehicle to some really harsh conditions, it's always good to keep up on the maintenance of these fluids. And remember, it's a lot cheaper to replace the engine oil, transmission oil, coolant, and other fluids than it is to replace the engine, transmission, or gear case. All right, so the next item on my list is the drive belt. Now the drive belt is what transfers the power that's made from your engine through your clutches to your transmission. Now keeping up on the inspection and condition of your drive belt, along with knowing how to properly operate your vehicle, will help you to get many enjoyable miles out of your machine. Now when it comes to inspecting your drive belt, you wanna be looking for excessive signs of wear, which would include glazing, cracks or breaks, 
missing cogs, flat spots, or any signs of abrasion. Along with the inspection of the belt, you'll want to check and inspect your inlet and outlet ducts to make sure that they're clean and clear of any obstructions. And while you're in there, take some compressed air, clean off the pre-filter that provides that cool air, as well as blow off the clutch sheaves to remove any fine dust, dirt, and particles. The drive belt and the CVT clutches experience a lot of wear, so it's good to keep an eye on them and give them a good inspection. Now, the wear items that are inside of the clutch as well, along with the belt, you'll definitely want to keep an eye on because if they go bad, they can really cause you some problems down the road. Now, if you need help with inspecting your clutch, be sure to see our video on how to do just that. All right, so the last item on my list is brakes. It's the last, but definitely one of the most important items. It's really fun to be able to go fast, but it's even more terrifying if you can't stop. Now, when it comes to inspecting them, there's a few things that you want to check. You want to check your brake pad thickness, the routing of your lines, as well as the quality and level of your brake fluid. Now, when inspecting your brake pads, once you're down to about an eighth inch of pad left, you're going to want to look into replacing those rather sooner than later. You'll also want to double check the rotor. If your rotor starts to get grooved, you might want to be replacing that along with the brake pads. Now, when it comes to the routing of the brake hose, you want to inspect its routing and make sure that the hose itself isn't experiencing any excessive wear or getting any holes in it. That would be really bad. Now, if you have any loose brake lines, you'll want to make sure to get those nice, tight and secured to the frame or an appropriate location and keep them away from any sharp edges or objects. Now for your brake fluid, most manufacturers recommend that you replace it every two years, but when it comes to your vehicle, you want to make sure and double check with the manufacturer's recommendations. And that's it. That's our top five UTV maintenance tips. Now when it comes to finding all the right products for your machine, you can find everything you'll need right here at RockyMountainATVMC.com where we have the largest selection of parts, apparel, and accessories for your ATV, UTV, and motorcycle. And remember, any order over $75 ships for free. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and top fives. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching and keep the wrenches turning.